Bhagavad Gita, verse 1.20 O King, after seeing your sons in military array, Kapitvaja, Arjuna, raised his bow and prepared to shoot his arrows. He then spoke the following words to Sri Rishikesha, Krishna. Sar Ardavarshini Prakajikariti Kapi Vaja Kapitvaja is a name for Arjuna that denotes the presence of the mighty monkey Kapi Hanuman on the flag Dvaja of Arjuna's chariot. Arjuna was very proud of his skill in archery. Once he was strolling on the bank of a river, carrying his Gandiva bow. There he saw an old monkey. Paying obeisances to him, Arjuna asked, Who are you? The monkey politely replied, I am Hanuman, servant of Sri Rama. Arjuna then asked, Are you the servant of the same Rama, who, unable to make a bridge of arrows over the ocean, employed monkeys to build a bridge of stones? It was only then that his army could cross the ocean. If I had been there at that time, I would have built such a strong bridge of arrows that the entire army could have easily crossed over. Hanuman replied very politely, But your bridge would not have endured the weight of even the weakest monkey in Sri Rama's army. Arjuna said, I am going to make a bridge of arrows over this river and you may cross it with as heavy a load as you can carry. Hanuman then expanded himself into a huge form and jumped towards the Himalayan mountains. He returned with heavy stones tied to every hair on his body. As soon as he placed one foot on the bridge, it started to quiver, but surprisingly enough, it did not break. Arjuna trembled in fear. Remembering his worshipable deity, Sri Krishna, he prayed, O Lord, the honor of the Pandavas is in your hands. When Hanuman puts the full weight of both his feet on the bridge, he was astonished to find that it did not break. If the bridge did not break, it would be a matter of great shame for him. Within his heart, Hanuman remembered his worshipable lord, Sri Ramachandra. Meanwhile, his glance fell below the bridge where he saw not water flowing, but streams of blood. Hanuman immediately jumped off the bridge and peered below it. Oh, what is this? he cried. My worshipable lord, Sri Ramachandra, is personally supporting the bridge of sharp arrows on his back. He at once fell at the lotus feet of Sri Ramachandra. At this same moment, Arjuna saw the Lord not as Sri Rama, but as Sri Krishna. Both Hanuman and Arjuna lowered their heads in shame before the worshipable Lord, who said, There is no difference between these two forms of mine. I, Krishna, in the same form of Sri Rama, come to establish the limit of morality and proper religious conduct, Maryada. And in this very form of Lila Purushottama Krishna, the Supreme Lord, who enjoys transcendental pastimes, I am the personification of the nectar of all rasas. From today onward, you, who are both my servants, should become friends. In a battle in the near future, the mighty Hanuman, situated on the flag of Arjuna's chariot, will give him protection in all respects. 
For this reason, Hanuman graced the flag of Arjuna's chariot in the battle of Mahabharata. Arjuna thus received the name Kapi Dvaja, or one who has a monkey on his flag.